The Coast Guard rescued two people from a sailboat that was sinking in the Gulf of Mexico approximately 20 miles south of Venice, Louisiana on Wednesday. The crew of the Coast Guard cutter Skipjack received a report at 8.30 a.m. of a sailboat taking on water approximately two miles from the cutter. The cutter crew arrived on the scene at 8.56 a.m., rescued the two people, and transported them to Coast Guard Station Venice in stable condition. The sailing vessel sank after the rescue. Accidents can happen at any time on the water, which is why it's so important for mariners to be prepared for the worst, said Commander Michael Wolfe, a search and rescue mission coordinator at Coast Guard Sector New Orleans. The survivors were wearing life jackets and were able to contact the Coast Guard in a timely manner because they brought reliable forms of communication. Petty Officer 2nd Class Travis McGee of the U.S. Coast Guard said the sailing vessel Jasmine was not leaking fuel, but it did have 35 gallons of diesel on board. An overflight by an MH-65 helicopter saw no signs of pollution. As of March 22nd, the Coast Guard was not sure if any salvage operations had commenced. From the photo, it seems clear that the two persons on board were able to deploy the dinghy as the vessel took on water. Venice, Louisiana is the last port before the mouth of the Mississippi River drains into the Gulf of Mexico. The Coast Guard could not say what was the cause of the sinking and its cause is still under investigation. When we set out from our home port in New Orleans, Louisiana, we considered going through Venice and the, down the Mississippi River straight across the Gulf of Mexico to the western tip of Cuba. But instead, we went along the ICW and went to Cuba via Florida. You can watch that in Season 1 of Slow Boat Sailing. Subscribe to Slow Boat Sailing so you can see the stories of the most interesting sailors in the world, such as the new crew members expected on SV Delos and Sailing La Vagabond. Thank you.